Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a step-by-step -step acrylic base pour. This is the vase. These are the paints. This is a brand called The Fine Touch. I buy it from Hobby Lobby when it's on sale. Always and only buy your paints when they're on sale. It's way too expensive. Okay, so this vase is a dollar store average flower vase. Um, I don't got paint on it. I don't have specific amounts of paints I use for these. Like I don't know how much paint will cover this. So if you're looking for a professional step-by-step, -step, this isn't the channel for you. I have done this a lot. There are a lot of videos in my vase pour adventures playlist on my channel, but I am not a professional. I don't measure. I don't weigh, I guess, an eyeball. So that's what I'm going to do now. Gonna guess and eyeball Ugh, my white paint into my cup. Let's see, that's plenty. I'm almost out of white paint. Hobby Lobby needs to have a sale. I probably should measure my paints. Probably save me some money. Keep me from wasting it, but normally when I do this, I put this whole thing on four tiles, like ceramic tiles. So any runoff, I can create four matching coasters that match the vase. But I'm all out of I'm all out of tiles right now, so I can't do that. Okay, I'm going to bring you down and show you how much paint I am guessing will cover this. Big size cup. I don't know. Does that look like a tablespoon? I think. Kind of looks like a tablespoon to me. This you can buy at any home improvement store. Menards, Home Depot, any of those things. This one gallon jug of Floetrol cost me, I think it was 14 or 15 dollars. I think, last I remember. And I usually use twice the amount of paint I put in. At least twice the amount, maybe more. Because the way I see it, this Floetrol is cheap. Your acrylic paints are not. And if adding this much Floetrol doesn't change the color of your paint that much, like water would, then why not use more Floetrol? Save your paints. But again, I'm not a professional. I don't see anything wrong with using a ton of flow trawl. We'll see if, oh, I need water. Eyeball the water. Not too much though. Add a little bit at a time. Mix it up to a consistency I like. I've heard people call it coffee creamer consistency. I feel like it's a little bit thicker than coffee creamer. 
but you get the idea. It's got to flow off your mixer tool, whatever you're using, nicely. And not too fast. This might be a little thick. Yeah. If it falls in clumps like that, it's a little thick. Good, I like that. Yeah. Now, when I first started doing these, I didn't have Floetrol. I didn't have any pouring mediums at all. And by the way, pouring mediums made specifically for pouring are outrageously expensive. And I've heard of people using Elmer's glue to do this. I've not tried that yet. But don't buy pouring mediums, it's a waste of money. Um, but at the beginning, when I started this, doing these, I just used water. And it, it works. But you don't expect your colors to look exactly the way you want them to, for one. And two, it, it may pour a little differently than you think. Here's my very first vase pour. And it still looks cool. I used cheap Walmart apple barrel paint and it cracked. So that's what the apple barrel paint will do for you. So you can make cool vases with just acrylic paint and water. So if that's all you have, go right ahead and do it. Let's check something out real quick. Those colors look real close to me. I'd like to see how much Floetrol I could put in a small amount of paint and keep it the same color. That might have to be an experiment. So if I could put a dab of paint in a cup and then fill it with Floetrol. I doubt that'll work, but you get the idea. If I could save paint, I'd be saving money. I'm gonna try that. Okay, that one's good. See that plop down. My white's kind of old and dried out, so it might have clumps in it. That looks pretty good to me. Yep, okay. Now for every color, except for white, I like keeping my base color without silicone, I will be adding Cell Magic. Probably four drops. I bought Cell Magic at Hobby Lobby for way too much money. For the silicone oil I used to use, they sold at Walmart for a couple of dollars. Uh, they stopped carrying it. I couldn't find it anymore. It was uh, three in one silicone oil, something like that. That worked really well if you added a lot of silicone. We found out this one works too. Not quite as good, but it works. All right. Whatever color I want to see last, or more of on this vase, I'm going to pour first. I like this color a lot, so I'm going to pour first. And I like to run it 
run it down the side and pour about a third of my cup in there and layer them on top of each other. In any order you want. I feel like when I pour down the side like this, it doesn't just pour right through the center of all the other paints and push its way to the bottom. It sits more on top of the other paint, which is what I want. I don't want it to mix too much while I'm pouring. Pouring them into each other, I mean. All right, one more round. Now, like I said, I normally do these vase pours with the vase sitting on four ceramic tiles that I then turn into coasters with resin and cork. And you can see those before and afters in my vase pour adventures playlist on my channel, but I didn't have tiles today and I may have mixed, mixed like I did. So this might be a little bit too much. I'm probably going to waste a bit of paint. Oopsies. Oh well. I'm going to move the camera to get a better angle on this. All right. What I like to do is when I'm pouring and make little circles, it gives you that tree ring effect over the top of this thing. Make sure it's flat and on a cup, by the way. I don't know if I talked about that. Put it on a cup so it doesn't stick to whatever surface, dry to whatever surface you have it on. Okay, here we go. Just little circles, happy little circles. Oh yeah, I mixed way too much paint, that's for sure. I might try and save some of this. Now I didn't mention that getting cells with that silicone on a vase is very difficult to do. They'll show up at the beginning, but usually they disappear pretty quickly. They'll get pulled out by gravity. You might get some cool ones and a chunk. If you get chunks, they'll pull straight down and ruin your vase which I just had over here. I'll show you it. Cells will stay up here, but nothing on the sides. I've got some more paint. I'm gonna throw it on something. All right, I have another vase like this. Make some twins here. Let's angle this better. There's that teal I wanted. I hope that pops through on this one. There's not a whole lot in that other vase, the first one. I'm gonna let these drip for five or so minutes, and then I'm gonna torch them. But I'm gonna show you something real quick. See that? All these, ooh, that just moved on me. Those are cells and they're getting pulled out and eventually it'll look like that. Not the greatest. If I didn't have that silicone in there, I would have had a better tree ring look. But it's always fun to test this silicone out. This 
suppose if I made the paint thicker, maybe they would stay. There's some cells. All right, I'm gonna let this drip for a little bit and bring you back. All right, they've been dripping for about five minutes. They're gonna continue continue to move. This isn't completely necessary, but I like to torch them to get out any air bubbles that might be stuck. But usually on a vase, everything gets pulled out pretty well. And this really isn't necessary. So if you don't have a torch, don't worry about it. Now that that's done, I just have to wait probably three days two to three days for them to be completely dry and I will bring you back once that happens to show you the final product okay it's been five days they turned out really dark somewhat unimpressive If it would have stayed more like that, that'd be cool. But it sort of got muddied. And I blame a lot of that on the silicone. The bottoms look cool, but you'll never, never see the bottoms. No need to sand anything. There aren't any drips on it. This one looks better than this one. But I guess, I guess they're both pretty much identical. Not a whole lot going on with them. To finish these, I will spray three coats of this on them. Nothing special. Get these at Walmart. Just following the instructions. I think it's like 15 minutes between coats. Something like that. Alright. That's the end of the video i hope you learned something maybe or it helped you in some way but thanks for watching check out some of the other vase pours on my channel on the vase pour adventures playlist there's a bunch of them down there and uh i'll see you next time thanks for watching